In the 19th century, rail travel became all the rage for the British population, and grand railway hotels started popping up in all the big cities. And in 1902, Edinburgh decided to join the party and build not just a hotel, but a city landmark. The Balmoral, originally called the North British Station Hotel, was designed to knock the socks off the wealthy traveller and make the North British Railway Company appear like giants. It was a statement, an advertisement, a way of showing the power and the authority of the railway. And for the arriving rich, the luxury began the moment your privileged foot touched the platform. You'd arrive at uh, Waverley Station, and in those days you had porters with red jackets who came and collected you, and you would be swept along with wonderful into a sort of palace, really. And to make sure all of Edinburgh got the message loud and clear, the Canny Railway made a gigantic addition to their statement hotel. From wherever you are in the city centre, as you look at that clock tower, you know that that's the one. 190 feet tall, with four 13-foot faces, the Balmoral clock tower became an instant landmark. In London, when you have BBC News, you have Big Ben in the background. Here, if anything for Scotland, you have the clock tower. It says this is Scotland. What the North British Railway Company was determined to do was to make their mark on the city of Edinburgh. It was a very clever civic gift. Responsible for building the famous clock faces over 117 years ago was local jewellers Hamilton and Inches. And like the hook.